guys what's up and welcome back to my channel my name is taylor if you're new here so it's friday it's currently 5 17 p.m and that means the work day is over and the weekend begins it's labor day weekend which is so fun it's such a long weekend i even took off on tuesday because i'm getting my hair done um, but I overall had a really productive day today. I got a lot of computer work done, which is normal for me because I work from home on my computer literally like all day. But I uploaded a video and my new posting schedule on YouTube is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sundays. Yeah. So four times a week, which is crazy. I'm challenging myself this month to post that many times a week. I know I can do it. I just have to put the work in and I'm like honestly ready to be freaking consistent um, finally on YouTube. So yeah, make sure you guys subscribe for more home decor, fashion, and vlogs. Like I just love filming vlogs. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys about today's sponsor, Glasses USA. So I'm wearing a pair of their glasses right now. They're so easy like glasses usa makes it so easy to purchase any kind of glasses sunglasses all online so they even have this like virtual feature which i'm going to show you guys in a second that lets you like upload a picture of yourself so you can like try on the glasses and i needed that because my face shape i feel like i feel like sometimes it's hard to find glasses that fit my face shape because it's very round so you you can't like get too round of things because then it's going to make your face like overly round. I love these. So I'm going to show you guys the virtual try on feature. And then I'm going to show you guys the rest of the glasses. All right. So this is their website. And these glasses that I'm wearing right now are the Muse Nancy. And what's cool is that there's a try on feature right here. So you can upload a picture of yourself. So I chose this one because it has most of my face right here. And then you can, if there's different colors, you can click on them. And then it'll like frame the glasses to your face. And then, so you can like choose a different color, see which one looks the best on you. So I picked out the brown tortoise color. I like too that it's like very accurate. Like it was really big at first and then it fit to my face on like the picture. Um, so that's awesome if you guys struggle with finding glasses that are good for your face shape too. And then what's awesome about Glasses USA is that there's so many different like lenses that you can choose from. So single vision, near vision, progressive vision, bifocal, non-prescription. Um, so if I knew what my actual prescription was, you can fill it out online. But I do haven't had like a eyeglasses appointment in like a really long time. I just have my contacts. Um, so you could either upload or send it later, which is great too, because I could go to my doctor and then send an email to them or fax it to them or upload on this website before I purchase. And then you can use like any saved prescription if you have your account on here already. So on their glasses, you can do UV protection, anti-scratch, blue light blocking, which is what mine are right now. And then they also do mirrored and polarized on their sunglasses as well. If you get your glasses and you end up not liking them, you can return them within 14 days. There's no worries or hassles when it comes to that. So if you guys are interested and are looking for new sunglasses or glasses, definitely check the link out in my bio and all the details down below. I do have a discount code as well, so definitely check it out. But I'm going to show you guys the different glasses that I got. So these are the Muse and then um, I'm going to try on the Weston brown and beige. I'm trying to like see on their website what this one is called so you guys can check them out for yourself. So yeah, this is the Weston and these are in the brown color. I don't have any glasses like this at all. I think these are so like cute and if i was like in the library reading a book or something but these are also blue light um blocking so i love wearing both of these if i'm doing any work on the computer just to protect my eyes so these are the muse m3205s in the gray color i don't have any glasses that like fade into a different color so i thought that was really different and cool and then i got these ones which are a little bit bigger but i really like them a lot I just love playing around with glasses. I definitely need to put my prescription in these um, so I can actually use them without my contacts. But for now, I just use them with my contacts. I want to do a quick cleanup because when I film and when I get ready and when I cook, 
they are like the three times I'm so freaking messy. So right now it's just a complete mess because I did a try on haul, which is even more messy because anytime I do a try on haul, I just like want to put on all of the clothes, take them off and put on the next one. So I basically am throwing all of the clothes everywhere, like in the background where you can't see it. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what the apartment looks like right now. Don't judge me. So this is what my work situation looks like. And then try on haul after math over here i moved these pillows that are supposed to be outdoor but we bring them in last night because it rained the other night but it's supposed to be sunny all weekend long so i'm gonna bring them out and dismantle this situation and then on this side we still don't have a tv stand yet we are like really struggling like looking for one because they're the ones we like or at least the ones i like are so expensive so i have to find like cheaper alternatives because I don't want to spend a fortune on like furniture that's only going in this apartment. And then over here is such a mess too. I got some packages in. It's kind of like a catch-all space right now just because it's here and we're lazy. So the first weekend we were here, I loved cleaning up on Saturdays just because then on Sunday you could actually relax and like not have to worry about cleaning up or anything but today's Friday <laughs> so I'm gonna do it today because I don't wanna have to do it tomorrow either let me know what day you guys like to clean up your house is it like Saturday Sunday a random day during the week let me know I don't know if I showed you guys the outdoor space on my vlog I definitely showed my Instagram story yet but this is what our outdoor space looks like right now everything's covered and i still have to bring out the cushions but it's so cute we love it we love how big it is and how much space we have to like put all of our furniture and stuff um but yeah let me go bring out the cushions <laughs> My vlog camera actually has a charge, but I'm gonna go to the drugstore real quick because I wanted to get a lighter. I ran out of my matches and I wanna light some candles while I clean up. So I forgot that at the store the other day. So yeah, but I just wanna show you guys in my little OOTD. I'm wearing this top from Nasty Gal, which is featured in my last try on haul video. These shorts are from Boohoo. My shoes are Keds, and then this cutie little bag is from Nasty Gal as well. I feel like every time I go to a store and I walk in, I completely forget everything that I came to the store to get. So I feel like I need to start making lists for myself when I go to places. I'm not kidding you guys, that was the first time I left my apartment today and like was kind of outside besides being on my deck. Um, I kind of get in a bad habit of just like not leaving my apartment literally all day So I think what I want to do especially when the weather starts getting a little less hot and more like crispy um, To go on like afternoon walks in the middle of my day and do like a lunch break kind of thing So I park in my buildings parking garage I have never like paid for a parking spot before like in college. I would just park in a free spot that I would find on campus but um, our building like requires at least one of your cars if you have one to be parked in the parking garage and I will say it is freaking pricey it's $150 per month but it's definitely gonna be worth it in the winter when I there's gonna be snow because we still live on the east coast in like North Jersey basically um, and it's gonna snow and stuff so it's gonna be great for that but yeah i don't know like how much were parking passes for you on your college campus were they like that expensive but i don't know i just when i heard it was 150 dollars per month i was like great <laughs> all right i'm gonna light this one and then light one in the bathroom i love these wicks because they make like the crackling sound asmr so bright too and then i'm going to go into the bathroom guys my apartment is giving me anxiety for how dirty it is um, i'm gonna light this one in the bathroom i've never lit this one yet so this is gonna be the first time i'm gonna move this over so like nothing guys this is my fall decorations right now i don't really think i'm gonna keep like the bathroom decorated like this for now 
it's gonna be like this. Yes. Then I'm gonna light the one that's on my desk. This is, smells so good. It's Ness like chai something, but it smells divine. I had it last fall season and stopped burning it because it wasn't fall anymore, so I could have it for this fall season. Truthfully, I've never lit that many candles at the same time, but because I have so many fall candles right now, I need to burn them, so. We're gonna see how that trio of candles smells like burning all together. The ones that I have like in the bathroom and the kitchen, they are very powerful. And same with nest candles, like they smell up a whole entire like apartment this size. Um, so yeah, we're gonna see how that trio of fragrances smell. <laughs> if you guys hate smelly things, I probably just like killed you. But yeah, now I'm gonna start cleaning up this mess and let's do this. So I'm actually gonna start off in my room because I didn't make my bed this morning, guys. I usually do and I just wasn't feeling it. As you guys can see, I ended up keeping the bigger lamp, so I just cut off the tags because I'm keeping it now, so I'm gonna cut the tags off. the room with no window and I actually like it a lot I sleep so much better like I um, don't wake up in the middle of the night anymore and I don't know it just kind of acts as like blackout curtains and I probably would have slept so much better in my old room if I did have blackout curtains but it just feels like very peaceful in here without a window um, if you guys asked me last year how I would like a space with no window. I would have said you're absolutely crazy. I don't want to live there, but I really do like it a lot. Um, the only downside I will say to having a bedroom with no windows is that it doesn't feel like a room I really want to hang out in. It kind of just feels like a room where I'm supposed to sleep and just like go to bed for the rest of the night. But when I actually like have it super clean and like all the lights are on, it actually feels super cozy and I would Definitely like do my makeup in here a couple of times and read a book in here. But other than that, it's really just like a place for me and Christian to sleep. But I'll show you guys some of the new decor that I put in the bedroom. So I got this new little geode right here. I thought it's so cute. I've been looking for one that's like a white color and like just very natural. So I put that there. You guys obviously know the story about the lamp. And then on this side, I don't really have anything like decorated at all um i'm thinking i maybe want to do like a hat wall like right here or on this side i'm not really sure so let me know your suggestions the ceilings go super high so let me know what you think this is my old bedroom like desk and little chair thing um so i just have like the vase that i got from my home goods haul in like my previous video and then the little poofs and then a little uh salt lamp and then my candle and then on this side, it's the dresser. You guys always ask where I got this dresser from. So I originally got it from Home Depot, but I will link it down below if I can find it anywhere else. But I wanted to switch up the decor for fall. And I used to have like green palm looking leaves in here, but I was just like, it's fall time. It doesn't really fit the season. So I found these really pretty pompous grass stems from home sense and then same with these poofs and i just put both of them in the vase slash vessels somebody asked me what a vessel was in my last video and honestly it's just like another word for a vase and like something you can put things into i want to say i watched a bunch of other shop with me videos and everybody was calling it vessel so i was like okay i guess i'll call it vessel too um so that's what that is so i thought it was really pretty and then i got this new coffee table book i love the brown color and i definitely any coffee table book I get, I want to actually read. Like, I want to read the Joanna Gaines homebody one. Oh, look. Some of these thingies fell off. Gotta do, like, a little vacuum right here. Um, but that is the bedroom. I'll give you guys a pan. It's pretty decent sized space. The rug is my favorite. Oh, 
And then here's from this corner right here. This candle smells so good. I don't know why this little stick is not as bright as that one, but it smells so good. It's just like, like a classic bathroom candle scent. Like, you know how bathroom candles, like, they smell good, but, like, you wouldn't really put them in your living room. You would only put them in your bathroom. Let me know if you guys have ever smelled candles like that because that is what it smells like. But I'm going to put away my little curling iron. Why do I say little? It's a regular size curling iron. I'm going to put this away. So while I've been cleaning, I've been playing this Wild and Free playlist. I'm pretty sure it's in the folk section. I love listening to folk slash like folklore music during the fall time. It just puts you in such a vibe. Like, listen. Yes, like those fall vibes, guys. Gotta set it all. I'm also so excited because my perfume set that I ordered for myself for my birthday from the Nordstrom anniversary sale finally came in. So I'll show you guys once I can open it. Oh my God, yes. So this was such a good deal. You get like a full size black opium um, perfume and then a little baby one that you can throw in your bag for when you're on the go and then a little uh, lotion. So I'm gonna add this to my little perfume. See, I call everything little guys. I need to get new vocabulary words. So this is my favorite like night scent and also fall scent because it's so warm. Um, and then this one is my favorite, like, everyday, definitely during the daytime scent. I love this one, but this is great to, like, switch up at nighttime. All right, you guys, it's looking so, so, so much better in here. Like, look how clean. I literally cleared off this whole entire thing. I want to go in and vacuum and Swiffer the floors, but first, I need to make dinner. I realize it's 7.32 right now, and I haven't eaten yet, so I'm going to start making dinner i really don't feel like cooking but i also don't feel like ordering something and like waiting and then picking it up so i have some i'm probably gonna make fried rice again with like just veggies and then i do have leftover chicken so yeah i think i'm gonna do that because i really just don't feel like going out and getting anything else and i just have all the ingredients for it in here but i will show you guys what it looks like from this side i think it looks so much better and cleaner um this mirror really is supposed to go in the corner over there but my neighbor has like a crap ton of friends over and like you can see into our apartment right now so i'm being so introverted right now and don't want to move it because they'll see me moving it <laughs> um but my candles are smelling so freaking good guys like i wish you could come over and smell my house right now my apartment it smells so good i can't wait for christian to come home and smell the candles for himself but if you are to get any honestly get them all <laughs> um this candle from nest smells so freaking good guys it's chai pumpkin or something pumpkin chai but it's one of my favorite fall candles ever um so yeah this is how it's looking so far i love when the apartment is so clean i cannot wait to get rid of this couch um, in these boxes and actually get real furniture. I am still thinking about like what kind of coffee table I want. I definitely know I wanna get a round one um, cause I think it would just look really good with the couch. But I don't really know what kind of TV stand I want. Every one, I, every one that I look at is so expensive so I have to look for some inexpensive TV stands. And then my vision for this section right here um, would be to get some accent chairs either just one and like a little side table or two and then the side table in the middle i think it would look so good like right here um especially because we just have all the room for it like with the box right now there's still so much walking room right here um and i think it would just be really good to add some extra seating instead of just having the couch that only really fits like three people and if we it's still nice out we can obviously all sit outside too and just like keep going in and out but that is so far the night christian doesn't come home until like nine probably like yeah closer to nine um but he might come home earlier because actually i lied he's probably not going to come home earlier because it's the weekend right or the day before labor day weekend and everybody's trying to get like appointments in so yeah he's probably not coming home to like nine so i just poured myself a glass of white wine i love white wine specifically sauvignon blancs or 
I think Pinot Grigio's, maybe Chardonnay's. I don't remember what the other one calls, but I'm deaf. Uh, very Sauv Blanc kind of gal. Christian loves his red wine. He loves getting, we call this at his family's house, the Jesus wine. It doesn't taste like anything like church wine. It's actually pretty good red wine. Like I hate most red wines, but this one I can definitely drink. So it is the, this is the Cantina, you know, whatever that says and whatever that says. And then this one is the Josh Sauvignon Blanc. I really like it. is done right here my brussels sprouts are done and out of the oven and then i heated up some chicken that i made the other day so i'm gonna finish it off with some sesame seeds at the end this is my little rice bowl right here it's just uh carrots bell pepper onion brussels sprouts and chicken christian's home and he's packing because he's belong. leaving me i don't belong he's going to visit his cousin Cousins. and cousins uh, and cousins we have to leave at what time tomorrow morning so fun to drive him to the airport he's gonna wear his mask he's gonna be super safe and they're really only like golfing they're not going out in like crazy places but so now that Christian's home, I'm going to spend some time with him and also edit this vlog. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Make sure you guys subscribe down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.